Math 31, I had a question coming out of section 3.2, number 49. And this is where we were given a piecewise function and asked to evaluate a bunch of function values. So negative 1, 0, 2, and 4. So what you have to do when you see this piecewise function is all of these numbers that are in the parentheses, these are x values. And then we just have to decide, based on that x value, do I plug that x value into the top piece or the bottom piece? And then let's let's see how we're doing here. Okay, so let me erase this, this one here and let me do a different highlighter color so we can keep track of this. All right, so negative one. All right, if x is negative one, and let me get an orange pen up here. So for this one, if x is negative one, would I plug that into the top piece or the bottom piece? Well, is negative one less than zero or is negative one greater than or equal to zero? And I think you'll give me that negative one is less than zero, which is telling me go top piece. So if I plug negative one into the top piece, that's why you see seven times negative one plus three, because I'm plugging in negative one for x. All right, so let's try it now with f of zero. So let me change highlighter colors. Let's go to red. All right, so we're gonna try zero, right? Let me change my pen color to red. So if I have x equaling zero, again, same dilemma. Is it top piece or bottom piece? Well, let's take a look. Is zero less than zero or is zero greater than or equal to zero? And here we would say zero is greater than or equal to zero. So this is actually telling me, hey, go bottom piece. And then when I head to the bottom piece, I'm plugging into 7x plus 6, so that's why you see 7 times 0 plus 6, and I get 6 back out. Oh, I just noticed I didn't write the word piece here. All right, there we go. So then we can keep on going through this, right? Let's try it with 2 and 4, and again, I'll keep on changing this, this pen color. So if I'm plugging in 2, right, again, is 2 going to send me to the top piece or the bottom piece? Well, is 2 less than 0, or is 2 greater than or equal to 0? And I think you'll give me, again, for 2, 2 is greater than or equal to 0, so I'm going to be on the bottom piece. And that's why I'm going to plug in to 7x plus 6. So 7 times 2 plus 6 does ultimately give me 20. And if I swap that out now for the very final one here for 4, right? and then again, let me change pen colors, I think you'll give me that 4 is also greater than or equal to 0, so I'm still going to be on the bottom piece. And that's why I'm plugging into that bottom function. And if you wanted one more example of something that you would plug into the top function, right? if I asked you for f of negative 7, let's just do an extra one. Right? Negative 7 is less than 0, so I need to plug into that top piece. Right? And that would give me negative 49 plus 3. That would leave me with negative 46. So it's all a matter of take a look at the x values given to you here and decide top piece or bottom piece. All right. Thanks so much, everyone. Bye.